Hello everyone and welcome to Sharpest Gaming and today we're back with some more Pokemon VGC 2017. We're back once again with the Jolteon team, also featuring Lapras, Garchomp, Metagross, Tapu Bulu, and Talonflame. And we're going to hop right in. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about doing a team builder for this team. Maybe I'll put that out tomorrow or next week. You guys let me know down in the comment section below if you want me to do a team builder. Essentially I'll just go over my, what I was thinking when I put this team together. In case anybody else wants to try out the team and wants to know the strategy behind it, but we're also going over the strategy by actually playing the team. And as you can see, I dropped a little bit in rating because when I practice, I suck. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So hopefully we can we can get two wins, bring her up a little bit in this uh, in this episode here. In this here episode, yeah. If we can even find an opponent. I had a disconnect when I was trying to set this up. Like, I didn't, wasn't even in a battle yet. I wasn't even on, like, the uh, the screen yet in a disconnected, so... Hopefully my internet's not being poopy. It's being fine with everything else, so... I don't know. I do not know Ming. And, of course, we still got the stupid dumb window. The stupid dumb window. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure something out with that. So it's not... Oh, hello. <laughs> so it's not uh, behind us cover it up or something, but then I have no airflow, and then I die a heat stroke, and it's just a never-ending nightmare. Can we find an opponent, please, poor favor? Please, poor favor. I would like to find an opponent, please, poor favor. I guess we're going to cut until we find an opponent, guys, so we'll see you in just a second. Little, little. Little, little. All right, we finally found an opponent. We actually had to, like, retry because <clears throat> we couldn't find anybody at first. So 1435 rated player with a Pelipper, Tapu Koko, Vicavolt, Celesteela, Garchomp, and Gastrodon. So two ground types to soak up electric types for the Pelipper and the Celesteela. <clears throat> and then two more electric types that also help with that electric weakness. Hurra, 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 hurra. Um, I can bring Lapras. Lapras does really well here. Obviously we... I mean, we can live hits from Tapu Koko and the uh, Vicavolt with my EV spread. So I could even lead with the, uh, the uh, Lapras. I could go Lapras Garchomp as a lead, actually. Or I could go Jolteon, even. I'm going to go Jolteon instead, and then Garchomp. <clears throat> and then do I Tapu Bulu it, or Metagross, or Talonflame? I'm gonna Bulu. I'm a Bulu. We do have to make sure that Jolteon stays alive until we know that Celesteela didn't come. Because that's gonna be our only answer to Celesteela. I mean, Lapras kinda can deal with Celesteela, but not really. Especially if it has, like, Giga Drain. Look at my hair, so wild today. It's so wild today, man. I can I can use it to block out the sun. All right, Tapu Koko and Garchomp. <clears throat> so this isn't a bad lead for me, because what I can do here I can just hidden power ice that Garchomp and that knocks him out as long as he's not choice scarf. And then I can hydro pump the Tapu Koko. I almost freeze dried. I mean freeze. I don't know if freeze dry knocks him out at plus two. Because if that's the case, that's pretty cool. I also like having both Lapras and Jolteon on this team, because then we have two immunities to two really big types in the current format, with electricity and water. So Hidden Power Ice should knock out the Garchomp here. There we go. See a Z, a critical hit. It, it matters sometimes. That matters sometimes. So, I don't know if it mattered there or not. Thunder! Oh, we aren't Kelp to live Thunder, though. We're a to live Thunderbolt, so Lapras holds on still. No Paralysis here. Paralysis. <laughs> here comes the weakness policy. As long as we hit this Hydro Pump, and we do Lapras coming in. That was quite the camera angle. <laughs> Knocking out Tapu Koko. Double KO. I don't know if that was just a weird EV train Tapu Koko, because I think Thunderbolt is supposed to do that much damage, so I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Stupid tortoise. The tortoise keeps climbing the side of the cage and then drops. Alright, so there's Celesteela, which is perfect for Jolteon. Oh, Jolteon. 
Jolteon, come, come on here, come hither, come hither, Jolteon. So what I can do is I can just Thunderbolt the Celesteela. I'm going to freeze dry the Pelipper. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to think. Because Heavy Slam should knock us out. I'm thinking I should get rid of the Pelipper just to be safe. Oh, I'm going to Thunderbolt Celesteela. I'm going to Thunderbolt to Celesteela. Celesteela does protect. I mean, Skull shouldn't take me out, right? Skull shouldn't take me out. I mean, even if I had... Um, yeah. Even if I had Thunderbolted the Pelipper, it still would have gotten that Scald off if it's uh, Focus Sash, which it is. So, <clears throat> this turn I can just Thunderbolt the Celesteel and Ice Shard. And these two just sweep the game. <clears throat> Typically I'd skip over games like this, but that turn one was just so perfect for us that I'm going to leave it in. I'm going to leave it in. And I will subtract like three minutes for, for, for the wait time. So then we'll possibly get three games in. Because Lapras will pick up the Pelipper with an Ice Shard. Uh-huh. And with the... Uh, Neglector Terrain, we should be able to 20 KO Celesteela. See ya! <clears throat> so Jolteon and Lap are showing that they can take on these, uh... And living with 1 HP, too, after Life Orb damage. But Jolteon and Lap are showing that they're able to take on these, uh... Typical meta Pokemon. Because it was Garchomp, Tapu Koko, Celesteela, and Palapar, all Pokemon we typically see in this meta. So... And it's a good thing we want Jolteon over Talonflame because of the uh, the uh, weather. So, not not a bad game, not a bad game. But let's see if we can do. It depends on how long this next next battle is. If we do a third one or not, it all depends. That brings us up to fifteen fifteen rating. We'll take those lower lower. Uh, ranked matches, especially when we're just starting out with the team, too. Still learning its functionality amongst each other. We have 1429, Gary Glitter from United Kingdom, England. Or England, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, uh, the United Kingdom's in England, right? No, England's in the United Kingdom. It's, I don't know. It's weird. Because England and then all the other kingdoms are united with it. That's what I assume. I'm American, I don't know things. <laughs> very, very interesting team. We see another evolution in the Leafeon, one of my favorite evolutions, right behind Glaceon. And then Torkoal, Mimikyu, Wishy Washy, Tauros, and the Nihilego. <coughs> so, I wonder if this is Anger Point Taurus, but there isn't anything that I'm aware of that guarantees critical hits, and any anything that would would be hitting that Tauros too hard. Um, so what would my opponent lead? Well, Lapras can kind of take on anything. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go with Lapras. And then I'm going to go Talonflame, because we can taunt things if if needed. I can go Jolteon for the Wishy-Washy. And either Metagross or Garchomp. I'm thinking Garchomp here. I'm thinking Garchomp here. <coughs> just because we can blast something with a Groundinium Z. Garchomp just brings that power. Whereas, like, Metagross, we'd be using it against Mimikyu, which is super effective against us. So it's not the greatest thing. It's not the greatest thing in the world. We'll, we'll see if we're able to, to pull it out here. With a Mimikyu Torkoal lead... So, what I do here, I freeze dry the Mimikyu, and I taunt the Mimikyu. This way, if Mimikyu doesn't have Mental Herb, it can't set up Trick Room, because Torkoal is protecting this turn. There's no way it just lets me attack it. Yep, there's the Protect. So we try and taunt the Mimikyu. If Mimikyu is Mental Herb, unfortunately, it will get off the Trick Room doesn't have the Mental Herb, so it can't get off Trick Room. I went for Free Dry as a last-ditch attempt. Um, I don't 
think you can freeze in the sun. I think that's part of the sun's benefits is you can't be frozen. And he didn't freeze him anyway. But because because Mimikyu's uh, not carrying a mental herb, I was able to taunt it. So Now I can just Hydro Pump Torkoal and uh, Brave Bird. Oh, I should have Flare Blitzed. The sun's up. The sun's up. I should have Flare Blitzed. The Torkoal stays in surprisingly. I mean, it's it should take the Hydro Pump fairly decently just because um, the sun's up. Oh, I should have Flare Blitzed it. Mimikyu's going to go for Shadow Claw into Talonflame. Okay. Hydro Pump connects with the Torkoal. It should do enough damage that Torkoal won't be doing a ton with its uh, eruption, if that's what it decides to go for. goes for Solar Beam, though, which is fine with me. Probably hitting the Lapras. I should survive that. It's non-stab. I'm max special defense. You ain't breaking me, boy. And then I get my weakness policy. So now Lapras is just scary. Oh, I'm just so scary right now. So I'm gonna <laughs> Hydro Pump the Torkoal and Flare Blitz the Mimikyu. And the Flare Blitz should be able to get it from here. <clears throat> I don't think you'll be able to get any Shadow, or Shadow Sneak, seeing as how much Shadow Claw did. At least that's the hope, anyway. That's the hope, anyway. Mimikyu's actually going to withdraw, so someone's taking a Flare Blitz. It's going to be Nihilego, which should take it just fine. Torkoal probably protects here, then. Gonna actually withdraw a Torkoal, so something's getting a plus two Hydro Pump. Tauros! He's switching around the, the leads here. Tauros does get the Intimidate off, which means my Flare Blitz will be doing less to an already resisted hit. Which means I should survive the turn. Does nice damage to the Nihilego with the Sun Bean up. And we pop the Air Balloon too, which is really nice. Get the Hydro Pump off on the Tauros. So we just out here doing that damage. Um, <clears throat> just trying to think. I want to freeze dry the Tauros. No. I'm going to try to hydro pump the Nihilego. I'm also going to taunt Nihilego just in case he's trying to trick room again. Just in case he's trying to trick room again, I don't want him getting it off. Because I don't want Torkoal doing anything crazy. He's going to wild charge with Tauros into the Talonflame, surprisingly. I think he'd go after the Lapras, but he probably power gem Lapras. But Tauros outsped. So unless it's choice scarf Tauros, he w tried to go for a trick room. Nope, went for a power gem. Might be choice scarf Tauros. I survived the power gem. Hydro Pump connects to the Nihilego. Lapras is out here today. And, oh, just misses on the KO. But I can Ice Shard it. I can Ice Shard it. Mm -mm. I can Ice Shard it. Mm -mm. Um, and, I mean, either Garchomp or... I'm going to go Garchomp here. No. 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 Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll go guard jump here. <coughs> Excuse me. I was just trying to decide if I wanted to bring in Garchomp. And if I did, I have to go for the uh, Groundinium Z here. Yeah. Well. Um. Because if it's Triscar Tauros, he wild charges me here. I think I just have to let Lapras go down, unfortunately. I need to get rid of... The, I, or I need to Ice Shard the Nihilego. Because from what I'm assuming right now, the Tauros is Choice Scarfed. Because Tauros is base 100 speed, if I recall correctly. I might be mistaken on that. So the Nihilego should be outspeeding the Tauros, if it's timid max, spe max speed, that is. So he's going to wild charge the Lapras here. Okay, he's just fast. Tauros is just really fast. I am underestimating Tauros' speed. So this is still fine, because I still knock him out. But the idea was I would switch in Jolteon there, because then he couldn't wild charge anything. Um, but as you just saw, he was not a choice, so it did not matter. And I mean, 
I could have went for Earthquake there because Lapras was going down either way. But, I mean, it, I don't need Tectonic Rage anymore, so I might as well use it. Um, I'm going to look up Tauros' speed here, though. Because Tauros is... Uh, I knew Tauros was really fast, but I guess it's faster than I originally thought. <clears throat> or that Nihilego wasn't... wasn't uh, trained to be really fast. But here I can just bring out Jolteon. Torco comes out. Torco. And the Mimikyu. Mimikyu Q Q. And then Jolteon. And there's no way this Mimikyu can get off Trick Room this turn. There's just no way. How fast is Taurus? Oh, Taurus is 110. And Nihilego is like 109, isn't it? So it, I think Taurus outspeeds by one point. I'm going to protect the Jolteon. Hmm. Maybe I should have saved Tectonic Rage. You know, I just Thunderbolt and Earthquake. Thunderbolt to Mimikyu and Earthquake. This way I guarantee Mimikyu goes down here. I'm not going to protect at all. So, there goes the Mimikyu. And there's no way that Torkoal can take out my Garchomp unless it's in Power Ice Torkoal. For some strange reason. Because I don't even think Bloom Doom takes me out. And I take him out anyway, so. Perfect. Unfortunately, destroying our own team in the process, but sometimes you gotta make those sacrifices. And I thank my Pokemon for the sacrifices. Oh, thank you, Pokemon. But that should be the end of it, I think. Well, actually, we're like 15 minutes. I still don't want to do another one and go super long, you know. That's what she said. <laughs> That worked a lot more than I thought it was going to. I said it at first, I'm like, oh, that wasn't too good. And then I re-said the sentence in my head. Because so I said, if you weren't, if you didn't hear me, if you weren't listening, I said, I was going to do another one, but I don't want it to be too long. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do another one. Just because that joke landed so well. Alright, 1527 after that last battle. Let's go... I'm trying to do some of the later songs, because I usually stop by the time I get to Team Skull. Bizcochito with Smeargle, Torkoal, Sliligant, Slowpoke. Ooh, I like. I like the Slowpoke. Um, Tapu Bulu and the Drampa. Drampa. Um, so either it's a Lilligan Torkoal lead... A Smeargle, Torkoal, or Smeargle, and uh, Slowpoke. The Slowpoke is his Trick Room setter. He's just trying to be cheeky about it. I get it. I use Magnemite in, in a singles battle video, so... I get it. I know what you're trying to do. But it ain't gonna work, buddy. Alright, so I'm gonna lead Garchomp Lapras. Um, I kinda want Jolteon on the back. And then and then we go with Town Flame, I think. That turtle is getting out of hand. I'm actually gonna go Talon Flame Lapras as a lead, and then Garchomp and Jolteon. This way we have a uh, priority Brave Bird, so we can just blast that Lilligan. Not a lot of the Lilligans are going Focus Ash anymore, they're usually going with the Gracium Z. So I might be able to just blast a Lilligan if it leads off here. And then if it it protects or it doesn't lead off, and the Torkoal's there, I can Hydro Pump Torkoal, so. Lapras Talonflame. I don't really like Shiny Lapras. I'm liking it more and more, though. Oh, and then I realized the Lapras in the layout's not shiny. Oh, it's not too shiny there, mate. I'm gonna protect Lapras here, expecting a fake out. Actually, I'm expecting fake out on the, um, Talonflame, so I'm actually gonna freeze dry the. Lilligant. And I will taunt the Smeargle in case it does, for some reason, fake out Lapras. I kind of wish I had uh, Quick Guard on the Talonflame. Yeah, he's going to fake out Talonflame. I kind of wish I had Quick Guard on the Talonflame, and I typically do. He's going to also Sleep Powder. Um, I typically do have Quick Guard on Talonflames in BGC, but I wanted Flare Blitz because I don't have a Fire type, and it's, it's important to have some kind of Fire type 
when Celestilas and Cartanas are very prominent. I didn't see what his first boost was. Um, defense. I mean, Talonflame's asleep, but it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. I don't think Ice Shard gets Lilligant from here, unfortunately. Because I am a negative attack nature. Because I wanted a little bit of speed to outspeed some things under Tailwind. I'm going to protect Lapras here. And, uh... Stupid head, Talonflame won't wake up, but... But we can try. Talonflame will take its first turn asleep. This also gives us a, t a turn to hopefully wake up. Oh, we're gonna see a Z-move. It's gonna be the Bloom Doom from the Lilligan. So actually, now that he Bloom Doomed us, it does go through the uh, Protect. And uh, that'll activate Weakness Policy, so Ice Shard might be able to take out Lilligan now. Oh, was that me? Don't be me. It looks like it was me. No. I. If that's me, I'm going to be so upset because that turn worked out so well for us. Smeagol tried to spore the Lapras too. I think because we're still sitting here watching it, it was us. Damn it! Why? Why? <laughs> well, and unfortunately that's how I'm going to have to end the episode too. But yeah, that's so infuriating uh, that happened. Because everything else is fine. All my, like, my phone's doing things right now. And my computer's fine. But Nintendo's being a bunch of garbage today, or the 3DS, because it's not the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi's fine. It's never dropped. I've never dropped before with it, so I'm blaming Nintendo for this. I blame you, Nintendo, for my loss! <laughs> I'm going to be down in the rankings again. <sighs> because with that Bloom Doom hitting the Lapras, uh, in fact, it activated weakness policy, so I could have ice used Ice Shard. I hate saying Ice Sharded. I could have ice sharded because it sounds like I'm saying shart. <laughs> sharded. I sharded! But, um. I could have used ice shard on the Lilligant, and it should have knocked it out because we were at plus two. Um. Uh, Smeargle would have probably put us to sleep, but I was hoping that Talonflame would wake up that turn. We could taunt it. And we would have been looking so good. We would have been looking so good. But, unfortunately, the Weefy doesn't want us to win with this team. We were winning too much, and it's like, no, you can't have three, you can't have three. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I say that so often, because usually it's from losses. Today is from this nonsense, but what can you do? Uh, so hopefully next time we can not be interrupted in our battles when we do this. But anyways, thank you guys, guys so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Leave comments what you think about this team down in the comment section below. And if you want to try the team out, the link for the pace bin should be in the description as well. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp, everyone.